This is a bit confusing, but I know you can understand it easily because this question comes in our mind at some point of time. That do we all see colors in the same way? Can your mind or your eyes see the red of the setting sun or the greenery of the forest as mine? We can simultaneously pointing out a strawberry and say that it is absolutely red, and we will both agree with it. But are you really seeing that red in the same way I am looking at it? Perhaps you have just learned to call what you see red, but in actual experience you are seeing green as red. The question is, This might look like a silly question, but that hasn't stopped experts from asking it. In fact, new research makes some scientists believe that people may not always see the same colors when they look at the same things. Most of the objects we can see around us don't make light themselves. Instead, light from the sun, the moon, or man-made lamps hits them. Depending on the object, some wavelengths of light will bounce off while others will be taken in. When we look at an object, our eyes sense the waves of light that have bounced off it. Which wave light will be reflected or absorbed depends on the properties of the object. For example, if you look at a banana, the wavelengths of reflected light determine what color you see. The light waves reflect off the banana's peel and hit the light-sensitive retina at the back of your eye. For a ripe banana, wavelengths of about 570 to 580 nanometers bounce back. These are the wavelengths of yellow light. You might think that if the color of an object is decided by the wavelength of light that bounces off it, everyone would see colors the same. But there's more going on inside the human body, which affects how people see color. Experts believe that color perception may not be predetermined. Instead, it may be shaped by the world and our experiences in it. Inside the human eye, there are two types of cells that respond to light, cones and rods. In bright light, cones help people see color. Wavelengths of light bouncing off an object activate the cones. Those cells then send signals to the brain. When the brain receives these signals, the person sees the object's color. Rods, on the other hand, are activated in dim light or darkness. The rods don't see color. They only signal the brain in shades of gray. Still, people see the colors of some objects in dim light because their brains have memories of those same objects in bright light. This proves that the colors people see are not only determined by wavelengths of light or our cells. They can be affected by our memories and other perceptions. As per the science we follow, most people have three kinds of cones in their eyes, S, M, and L cones, and each of these only senses light waves of a certain length. When a long wave hits an L cone, it seems to fit into it like a key in a lock. The cone then shouts out to other cones that it has caught some light, so we say that it's active. The L cones only care about long light waves, so they won't catch any short or medium ones. Those go to the S and M cones. There are such people who have two effective cone cell systems for one eye, and that makes their color blindness in one eye. There are also some people who have four cone systems. The condition is called tetrachromacy. Those people discriminate colors more accurately as a consequence. Experiments that test for tetrachromacy in women with dichromatic offspring have also been conducted. Though still preliminary, the results indicate that women who are genetically capable of expressing more than three cone types tend to perform better on color discrimination tests. So it could well be that some women can see more colors than the rest of us. There are also some animals who have amazing color vision. For example, bees can see shorter wavelengths than humans and use this ability to find the sweet nectar in flowers. The mimulus flower petals have a dark colored path to guide bees down to the nectar, which humans cannot see at all. Another experiment that done with monkeys suggests color perception emerges in our brains in response to our experiences of the outside world, but that this process ensues according to no predetermined pattern. But it's not just our eyes that see, it's our brains. We say we see different colors because of how our brains learn to link the signals they get from the eyes with the names of different colors. Many other things can affect how your brain sees color, 
including the season, what you looked at before, or the position of your body. You can try this experiment to confirm. Lie down on your left side for five minutes with both your eyes shut. Now close your left eye and open your right eye, then switch eyes. Do things look different when you're using different eyes? It does, and that is because the position of your body. When you laid on your side, more blood went to the lower left part of your head and body, and this makes the colors you see with each eye look different. So what's the conclusion of all of this? Can we be sure that people see the same color when they look at something? It can be assumed that we all see colors completely different from each other, as if my blue is actually your green, but taking into account all the research done so far, it is not entirely correct to say so. On the basis of the facts found so far, it can be said that we all do not see colors in the same way, but this difference is probably be less. This means that the blue color I see may look light blue or maybe dark blue to you. Hopefully you get what I want to share. Also, if you think this video is informative, do like this video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to write your views. What do you think? Do we all see the same colors?